Well, now to a very special delivery for one local couple. Uh, not unusual for expectant mothers to be sent home from the hospital when labor is taking too long to progress. But what is unusual is getting sent home only to have the baby come just a few hours later too quickly to get back. Somebody forgot to check with the baby. <laughs> Our Priya Mann joins us now live with more on the story. Good evening, Priya. Good evening. Now let me set the scene for you. It's Sunday night. It's cold and it's dark. This couple is headed back to the hospital for the second time. Minutes into their ride, Samantha turns to her husband Brian and says, "We need to pull over. This baby is coming now." Her husband, who's on the phone with 911, can barely hear the instructions over his wife screaming. Minutes later, a baby boy is born. It is amazing how he came. It just I never in a million years could have like Brady Musson knows how to make an entrance. The whole time I just couldn't believe it was actually happening. She kept saying it was, and I just kept saying, no, it's not. Samantha says they had just pulled out of the driveway when her water broke. As her contractions got worse, the couple and their three-year-old daughter pulled into this parking lot of Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses in Commerce Township. Once I saw the head, that's when it really got real to me. I see, like, the lights in the parking lot, and then... Next thing I know, like, he's on me. The baby's, like, here. Brady didn't cry at first. His parents knew he had a heartbeat, but little else until paramedics arrived minutes later. Ambulances came in, and they were like, no, everything's good. The baby will be, you know, they were being so sweet. They were like, he'll be okay. The couple are relieved Brady is healthy and doing well, but are happy they were told to leave Providence Park only to give birth three hours later. It was like they were questioning if I was in labor, and I definitely was in labor. When we were leaving, I just... Couldn't stop yelling at him. <laughs> so I, I can't believe it sounds home. With the birth behind them, the Mussins are still taking it all in. I'm just so happy he's here, and then I don't. I just hope he always knows like how like insanely like important he is to us. You know, when you're talking to Brian and Samantha, you can sort of tell that they're still in shock, still absorbing everything that happened. With the birth behind them, both mom and baby are doing well. They say they're glad this is how it happened. It will prove an amazing story to tell for years to come. Reporting from outside Providence Park Hospital, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.